Of course, generally to solve an equation like this, you need to get all the, the x by itself on one side and a number by itself on the other. When you have something like parentheses, it makes it more difficult to uh, separate that out. So one thing we can do to get started is distribute, use the distributive property, multiply each of those by 2, which gives me 2x minus 8 is equal to 2x minus 6. This start, might start looking a little funny to you already when you notice that we have a 2x on both sides. Normally I want to get my x's on one side, so I subtract the same thing from both sides. But notice if I do that, let's say I subtract 2x on both sides like this, what happens is this cancels out and this does too. And that leaves me with negative 8 equal to negative 6. What can I make out of, the, of that? Of course negative 8 does not equal negative 6. So what does that mean in terms of our solution? Well, think back to what we're actually trying to find. We're trying to find what values of x, what can I put in here that's going to make this true? And it turns out no matter what x is, because when the x's cancel out, this is not true. It leaves us with something which is never ever true. Negative 8 is never equal to negative 6. Therefore, we conclude that there is actually no solution. Sometimes this is, can be expressed in alternative ways as well. It can be expressed as the empty set. So if I use my set notation, just leave it empty. Or this symbol can be used to mean the null set. But usually it's good to just write, there is no solution. And remember, we know that there's no solution because perfectly valid algebraic steps led us to something which we know cannot be true. Thank you very much.